All right, if you've stuck around for the extra credit, uh, this is where we get to start having a little bit of fun and being more of like an interactive designer with our project. So we have our new example here. And to save us the time, I'm basically what I'm gonna say is you should make the second state. So uh, if you haven't used Flinto, it's a great little uh, prototyping tool. And it's, uh, it's good for having kind of like custom animation or something like um, uh, Envision is really great prototyping like from screen to screen. Um, something like Flinto, you can get really detailed like interaction and animation. So now you are dictating animation within your design. So if I was gonna hand this off to a developer and say, hey, you know, and after the, the, this landing page or this landing screen loads, I'd like it to animate up and then animate out or something. I could show him exactly how that works using Flinto and here's how we do it. So first, we have to think of uh, animation in Flinto or in prototyping similar to the way we would think about uh, keyframes in something like um, you know, like Adobe Flash or even like Adobe Premiere where you're keyframing from one position to another. That's how we're thinking here with our animation. So what I'm thinking is um, using our animation on or our screen on the left and our screen on the right that after a couple seconds, um, this whole thing is going to animate up the page. So the whole cloud cluster is gonna grow and it's gonna like fly up and um, maybe some of those uh, supporting like puffy clouds, they're gonna kind of move around a little bit and we're gonna have the letter, the spark letter kind of like jam up um, past the top of the screen. And that would be like the first, the first portion of the animation. You could do follow-up animations, but we'll just do this one. So uh, keep in mind that if you wanna do that, um, you're just recreating that next design here um, and it's, it's pretty important that once you move into Flinto that you've used similarly named elements, okay? So um, you can grab these elements and just make sure they're called Cloud 1, Cloud 2, Cloud 3, Cloud 4. Um, and so you can see we have our two, our two screens and they all have identical names. So Cloud 1 over here is Cloud 1 over there. And, and you know, Cloud Bottom is Cloud Bottom. So they're the same named kind of groups. The reason this is important is because we're gonna use a plugin specifically for Sketch and Flinto called Send to Flinto. Um, and so real quick, a quick overview. Uh, if you're interested in Flinto, you can go out on the web and go to flinto.com slash Mac. Um, and you can download a free 14 day trial. I would just try it, play around with it. There's kind of no harm, no foul in trying something out, but you can see um, all about how to create really cool animations using Flinto. Okay, for us today, we are going to be doing this one. So you can download the plugin there. You can highlight both artboards you want to send and just simply click send to Flinto. It's going to ask you what artboard size, you just press OK. It's going to duplicate that artboard size and it's going to open up Flinto. We're going to move this over to a new window here and you can see kind of like a minimal, like easy um, kind of like interface. I'll probably do some other stuff on how to use Flinto and how to animate and all that kind of stuff, how to prototype. Um, but for now, we're gonna do the real, just real basics to give you an idea. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and make our first screen the home screen. And then after that, let's do like, if you click anywhere on the screen, we'll, we'll do that, okay? So we are going to create a link from clicking anywhere on the screen. Okay, so you can see we have both of our boards and we've now created a gesture which says when we touch anywhere on that screen, mainly in the background layer, that it's gonna animate over to the new one, okay? So what we want is we want, uh, we want these layers to be in the right places, right? So we need to animate these to their, to the better spots that we, we'd want them in, okay? So like that, and so you can see like, this is maybe like a little bit more on the screen here. So we're just changing things, okay? So that once, once things come over up to this side, they animate it correctly, okay? So, so now we're gonna go in here and we're gonna edit this transition. We're gonna name this like cloud up maybe, okay? And we're going to align the screens as we have, okay? 
and we're gonna press cloud four and cloud four, and we're gonna connect those layers. Now you can see that once I, when I start animating, it's literally moving from point A to point B. Okay, so let's go cloud three to cloud three and connect those layers. We'll connect all of our layers, okay. Now when I animate after I've connected all the layers, you can see <clears throat> everything moving from A to B, okay? So that's pretty cool. We're gonna save and exit, but you'll notice we had like a little bit of a problem because this icon was not located over here. So we're just gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it and then we're gonna move it up like that. And then we're gonna go back into our animation editor and we're going to connect those two layers. So now you can see when I animate the whole thing, animates that's really really nice so now we can save and exit we can preview this and you can see we get a nice preview editor and when we click you can see that's happening now we want to be able to go back so what we'll do is we'll come over here we'll do a similar kind of transition where we uh, create a link that heads back to this board on tap and we're going to use the cloud up in reverse that's what this little backwards double arrow means so now when we preview you can see we click once and it goes up click second or click a second time and it goes down. So click, click, and you can do this with lots of different features. You can do it with a tap or a swipe. Um, you can do it with like two hand, like double tap, all of the gestures they offer within Flinto. Um, we can do like just a basic timed event, but you can see that's just like an introduction into playing with Flinto and starting to actually design animations, interactions, um, and using your designs to do it. So I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful for you guys. Please make sure that you subscribe and this, to this channel and like this video down below. Um, I hope you guys are designing awesome stuff. I hope you guys are having a great week. And I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Later.